Bats are fascinating creatures. They're the only mammals that can fly and do important work in our ecosystems. Experts say bats are not scary at all, but what's happening to their populations is. Manitoba's bat populations are in big trouble. Disease and wind turbines are killing hundreds of thousands of bats every year in North America. Joining us now is the head of the University of Winnipeg Bat Lab and Professor of Biology, Craig Willis. Good morning, Craig. Hi, Rochelle. A bat lab, that's kind of cool. It is kind of cool, yeah. It's a place where uh, lots of grad students and undergrad students at UW uh, kind of work to uh, solve conservation problems facing bat populations. And you, mm -hmm. some of your students, you've done this, you've been doing this for 25 five years you crawl into caves you crawl into all kinds of weird spots to find them and see what's happening to them and what you're finding is not good right it's not good at all so for about 20 years we've been working on a disease called white nose syndrome which affects our three species of hibernating bats in Manitoba two of those species are listed as endangered in Canada because of that disease and that's the worst situation any species can be in we also have done some work on another issue facing a different group of bat species, the migratory species that are sensible and fly south for the winter. Okay. Um, they get killed in enormous numbers at wind turbines during their fall migration. And okay. so that's something we're, we're hoping we can start to improve on in Manitoba. Okay, so when you see these kinds of numbers uh, where populations are dying off, what, is mm -hmm. it, what sort of effect will it have on our ecosystem? Yeah, that's a great question. There's now great evidence that the loss of uh, bat populations from this disease, from white nose syndrome uh, caused real problems for farmers, for agriculture. They ended up using more pesticides and that raised costs for everyone, but it also affected human health in those areas where bat populations crashed. Uh, an increase in human infant mortality, uh, presumably because of pesticide wow. drift. So there are real connections here. We depend on bats. Now, they're, they're great just because they're fantastically cool and interesting, but mm -hmm. um, they're also an important uh, sort of source of free pest control for farmers. So we have six species in Manitoba, some are endangered, and you're about to add more to that list, right? right? The experts that use the best science to decide species listings in Canada have recommended that our three migratory species be listed as endangered in Canada because of mortality at wind turbines. Okay. Um, wind energy, obviously we're seeing uh, effects of climate change more and more. This, these fires this year have been, been horrible. Uh, we need sources of renewable energy. Um, the cool thing about the, the wind turbine story with bats is that we can definitely have both uh, healthy bat populations and wind energy. In energy. The you solution's want, pretty simple. You yeah. want the government, the, the provincial government, to do something about this? Yeah, so Alberta has really led the way in terms of uh, uh, regulations and guidelines for the wind industry that aren't very expensive. Uh, really what they do is uh, uh, have the company stop the turbine spinning at low wind speeds. Bats don't like to fly when it's really windy. Mm -hmm. So when it's not very windy, you get most mortality. It's only at night and it's only during about two months of the year during fall migration. So it's really a very small fraction of the annual power production of a wind energy facility. Um, and uh, we can, th that has a massive benefit in terms of reducing bat mortality. Oh.